Well, I just got here, ma'am. How could I get my uniform yet? Oh, hello. Who are you? Hello, Fluffy Tails. I'm the Serious Squirrel, and welcome to Bully. Many of you requested this game, and I thought I'd just play it right now because we had so much horror in the last time. And yeah, let's have some fun little Rockstar game, shall we? We'll start right into the story. And the intro did not record. Anyway, we don't care for that. We start right into the game. Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? I can't believe this. You must be the Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Ah. Bullshit Academy. I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very no. Very happy indeed. I don't think anyway, so. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins. In his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy. In the main building. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Okay, you go jerk off to your headmaster and I will not meet Mr. Crabble Snitch. That, that, that's a stupid... That's a stupid name. Hey, no, 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 you don't fight me, you bastards. No way. We are running away from you. Alright, um, I guess I have to follow the uh, yellow X on the map. Because X marks the spot, as far as we know from Indiana Jones. Um, okay, upstairs into the principal's office. Oi! Mate! How about I beat you to a pulp for doing that to me? things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, so what? I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you. At making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. That sounds wrong. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. No. You keep that nose clean, boy. Or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? What's your bis business with noses? Headmaster, and I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Aww. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. Okay, got it. Thanks, Headmaster. So here I am. Well, I just got here, ma'am. How could I get my uniform yet? Oh, hello. Who are you? No, not talking to me. Okay. Sweet, you're a dork. Boy, it's like being in school again. Nobody's talking to me. Anyway, let's get to our dorm because apparently people expect us to have our uniform, although we just entered 
the uh, area and you know didn't have any chance of getting anything why oh, it's so loud man shut the fuck up everyone oh hi well we shall see about that shan't we let's Attack this fucktard some and crap him and kick him and beat him to a pulp. We already did that to another bully. Ow! Well. You, you are enough of that. Break it up. Why are you not in your uniform, young man? Go change immediately. That was totally not an ape. Big ape. Gorilla like. Hey, man. Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah, what's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? How does everyone know me? Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, you nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse me. I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? Sure, please do that. We don't have a bar in the door, just a soda machine. <laughs> what a lightweight. I think a dog pissed on your pants, dude. What the fuck? Guy, you just screwed up. I maybe shouldn't have done that. I really should not have attacked him. Um, guess that happens if you... Warriors killed, yes! Um, so much for us being friends, right? Guess we're not gonna be friends for long. But oh well, maybe I can just just kick him in the nuts. You know, I did not want to hurt you. I wanted to hurt the other guy, but you got the hit. It's, that's something that can happen, man. Just suck it up and, you know, stuff like this can happen. Sometimes people just throw a punch into the wrong direction and stuff like this happens and you know I really <laughs> you failed Gary was knocked out great let's buy a soda and pop it Why buy new pants? No, no. Not at all. Wondering why everyone gets bullied around here. Uh, look at his attire. Hey, how you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete. Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins. And don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life, my parents, this school, Western civilization, but 
Really, honestly, enough about me? Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. I can stand him. He's a nice guy. Got anything to say to this? But I guess that doesn't matter if... I like him or not, because the choice is taken for me. Anyway, um, there's something clinting back there. Can we get it? No, can't do anything. Okay, um... Let's get out and get back into the dorm, because the little star points into that direction. And the star shows us where we have to go when we want to do a quest. I'm just gonna call it quest, because it's basically that. Mission. Sure, thanks. See? Said it was an ape. Can I hit him? Guess I have to apologize. And he wants money from me. Can I just beat him to a pulp? No. Suck it! Go away. Okay. Alright, that sounds better. Um... Which direction? This direction. Okay, let's slowly turn the dial. While I'm lock picking and the alarm goes off. There we go. Got the lock. Bullworth cap, classic, okay. And now we're in trouble, of course. Prefects are red dots on the radar, watch out for them. Okay, those are prefects, I thought those were bullies. Yeah, yeah, duh, well. I was told to do it, so I did it. You know, that's how it works, usually. Well, okay. Did it. Perfect. Let's... I'm following you, man. I'm following you. Where are we going? Ted for president. Be a man. Vote now. Okay. Don't need that chocolate, but okay, let's let's, let, let's get the chocolate back, shall we? Whoever took the chocolate? Oh, who? Yeah, run away. You don't take chocolates from other guys or girls. It's not nice. All right, we got the chocolate back and hopefully we get something good for that.
Whoa there! Okay, that's how it's going to be. Um, well, Fluffertails, let's end the episode with a kiss. That was disgusting. Ugh. <sighs> I have to get over it somehow. Uh, Fluffertails, I hope you had fun watching this first episode. There's gonna be lots of them, I think, because this is quite a long game, once again. And yeah, let's see where this is going. Anyway, Fluffy Tales, I hope you had fun watching this episode. Come back in the next one, and as always, I'll leave you with a hearty goodbye. Goodbye.